Hello Taurus, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of November of 2020, Spiritual Guidance Reading. I just feel really good today and I'm trying to figure out why because I feel like since November 31st up until today, which is the 5th, we've been on a bit of a roller coaster ride. Like something feels like it's going to work out, then it doesn't. Someone feels like they're going to step forward and do the right thing, then they don't. Okay, so there's a lot of this going on. But what is most important, Spirit is saying during this reading for you, Taurus, in the second half of November of 2020, is that there is a divine plan. Spirit is trying to nudge you to recognize uh, that a divine plan is working, right? Spirit is always trying to guide us into the path of our highest, best good, right? So it's about setting positive goals and intentions, thinking positively about the achievements that you desire, trusting and having faith in prayer that spirit will help you to make come manifest this beautiful and divine plan. The realization of what is good, right? The good signs are guiding me in the highest best path and the negative signs, negative people, places, circumstances, situations, environments, and so on. I need to sidestep at this time in order to get to where I want to be. Now, I feel like some Tauruses are like, I don't even know where I want to be, okay? And that happens. We lose our journey. See, we were sent here to create something. Therefore, sometimes we have to go through some turmoil in order to realize our gift. And I feel like that's what Taurus had to go through. Um, remember, I don't know if I have it with me right now, but in Hebrews, uh, it says he learned through which he suffered or something to that extent. Now, um, in the center of the circle spread, I went ahead and started so we can save a little bit of time here. Uh, we have trust in that divine plan, right? So by mid-November of 2020, uh, maybe there has already been some form of reflection that this Taurus has had. And now they are realizing, you know what? The bad decisions led me here. The good decisions uh, Spirit's trying to bring me towards leads me way up better than I can probably imagine because it's a divine plan. So in the thoughts position during the second half of November of 2020, if someone has told you that you could heal others, that you could help others in any way, or you have felt this or even received like little nudges of intuition, noticing, uh, you know, commercials or communications about some form of healing, uh, your process of difficulty, if you write that down in a book or a journal, could very well help heal and guide others but you've got to be cleansed of the negativity so that the healing energies can flow through you so keep that in your thoughts during the second half of november of 2020 taurus sun moon arising male or female venus saturn pluto jupiter and so on um, in the relationship sector during the second half of november of 2020 this taurus has you are strong beyond measure Step into your power when it comes to relationships with others. I know who I need to connect with in order to shine that light on the right direction. I know that I am strong enough in relation to others to keep going forward and not going back. Because what was back there, I'm so well aware of what that was. And now I'm going to do something completely different. It's almost like the energy of, I'm going to show them how successful and smart I am. Almost even in a, ven a vengeant way. But Spirit's saying, create joy and delight at this time. You are stronger than you even know. So Spirit's trying to guide you to... Step into your power, into this divine plan to keep going forward. For in the actions position we have, the answers are within. Again, I'm feeling like it's really important to say what didn't work in my life in the past was these things. This is what I learned from these things. And now this is what I'm going to teach others about how to not go where I was. It's like, I feel like there's a bunch of fireflies in there and each of those fireflies represents an aha moment that is happening with this joy and delight energies as you create forward movement. 
Oh my goodness. So by the last week of November of 2020, the Taurus that I'm reading for during this general reading has the wondrous universe energy. This is walking in beauty, walking in joy, walking in happiness, emotionally in the emotional aspects position. Why? Because you allowed for healing energy to cleanse you, to move through you, and now you can step into your power. You are strong beyond me measure to find a new path ahead so spirit saying with the ascending the mountain energy in the subconscious position don't look at the mountains ahead as long and difficult paths but as exciting new things that you are going to conquer in order to get to the blessing on the other side trust in the wondrous universe that as you take positive step forward so too shall you realize that you are becoming much stronger. You are stepping into your power because you connected with another or others. So day to day, spirit saying, simplify your life, you know, make goals and intentions. Maybe if it's one thing you're gonna do or two things a day and uh, just keep things simple. Keep going forward beyond any obstacles and trust that there is a divine plan. And this divine plan is going to uh, I want to say evolve within you, but it's like this, this Taurus is kind of consciously saying I need to cleanse and let go. Um, if I keep moving forward, I know now that I am stronger. I feel like someone told this Taurus that you are stronger because it's in the relationship sector of the circle spread than maybe you even know. And if they haven't, spirit is doing so right now. So in your inner strengths position, we have you from above. Spirit is giving you the strength during the second half of November of 2020, Taurus. To trust in a divine plan, to recognize the answers are within you, that as you heal and let go, that as, and as you connect with others, that you are becoming stronger, that energies of joy and delight are happening for you as you kind of travel back and forth, creating this bigger picture. This is who I am. This is my special balloon in the sky with many others. This is what I'm creating as I heal. So in a three-card summary to my left, we've got the first couple cards representing mid-November of 2020. First light. Now this card is starting to show up for a lot of people. Today I'm going to be doing a live video podcast. And I pulled a card to present that podcast. And it was the doorway of triumph opening up. So triumph, the celebration of, right? So distant thunder. I feel like the clouds are actually going away in that picture. And now there is healing and clarity and the time to start a new cycle in your life. Healing energy is flowing through you or spirit is trying to help it to. So Spirit's saying it's important to ground yourself, right? To write, draw, paint, do photography, pottery, poetry, start a journal. Because at some point, you're going to realize that this wondrous universe is giving back to you because you're creating positive action steps in your life. See, go slow. It may be a bit foggy, but it's time for healing and mending and then releasing and connecting. Discover the light of who you were meant to be in this world and know and recognize that there's a lot of support around you. And it's the support that someone's offering you is, that's helping you to step into your power. So from the 16th to around the 23rd or 4th of November of 2020, we have a Taurus that is choosing to clear the past and now heal in the present, recognizing that you don't know exactly which doorway is going to open for you, which territory you're going to step into. But Spirit's saying, right now you are, you are exactly where you were meant to be, realizing what you need to realize. Blessings are showering into your life. And some of you, whatever it is you're creating, where you may be traveling lightly day to day, um, that's what's bringing you joy and delight. You've worked your way into energies of blessings. Congratulations. And all you need to do is know that as you take action with passion, Spirit is giving you the courage to realize that you are so much stronger than you were before. And I think eventually to realize the big picture of this divine plan by the end of November 
of 2020. And look at on the bottom of the deck representing the end of November of 2020 for this Taurus, we have miracles, enthusiasm, passion and pleasure, a voyage of the heart, because this Taurus is overcoming obstacles. You are protected by the angels, Taurus, and now you can step into and through the gates of triumph. For your light will shine brightly and therefore spirit will help you to reach the, destina the destination of a divine plan, be it a home, family, business change, where you step into a new wondrous universe. Wow. So should these messages resonate for you and you have further questions, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email address, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. All right, let's clarify, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels for this Taurus that I'm reading for during this general reading. This is the Rider Waite deck, and again, a circle spread. So we have the Hierophant, okay? This is you in your element, Taurus, by mid-November of 2020, realizing that it's time to close an old chapter and to step into a divine plan. That spirit is so hard trying to give to you they're trying to help healing energy to flow through you so that you can be freed from whatever caused you frustration worries fears sadness heartache guilt and etc tied to the past and or maybe in relation to an air sign libra aquarius or gemini you are free if you'll allow this healing energy to flow through you so remember that that's in your thoughts position during the second half of november of 2020 for as you move forward and trust in a divine plan as you create the next chapter of your life uh, you're going to be able to in the relationship sector to another or others let go of whatever you were crying over right this this card actually is described as crying over spilt milk not realizing that right behind you is a new direction a new connection new circumstances situations and spirits just waiting for you to turn around turn around and realize that you are strong beyond your measure stronger than you realize so creatively you're going to realize that blessings are showering in your life and you're going to be looking at a bit of abundance here, contemplating, should I stay in this path? Should I move to a different path in the area of creativity, career, finance? In the actions position, we have a Taurus who's being guided to trust. As you sit with the moon energies of confusion or illusion, trust that there are a lot of things you have learned being represented by these beautiful of. Uh, lightning bugs light bugs whatever they're called um and that something wonderful waits in the shadows of confusion so emotionally know that as you come together and work with others others are going to come together and help you to step into a wondrous universe a whole new different life so yes uh you may feel like there are obstacles in the way, but the truth is, is you can conquer anything, right? You're stepping into your power at this time. Spirit's giving you the strength to let go from whatever affected you emotionally or is making you feel stuck or trapped. Because subconsciously, Spirit is helping you with the hermit energies to kind of slowly reflect on different offers, opportunities, or directions until you shine your light on a new chapter until you realize, oh my gosh, I'm stepping into my power because I have connected with another or others. And now I can start a new chapter, which in hindsight is my divine plan, right? I'm gonna see the big picture by the end of the month. So day to day we have traveling lightly. Now we do have a little bit of sadness, depression, worry, feeling like you don't have enough in some way, be it personally or financially. But Spirit's saying, we want to pour these blessings into your life. For as you work just a little bit, eventually you're going to turn around and climb into this castle. 
So have trust and faith that even when you don't have all the answers, that the wondrous universe is guiding you towards a divine plan as long as you're making the highest, best decisions for yourself and are freeing yourself from old emotional connections in the area of relationships and or feeling stuck or trapped in your thoughts, right? See, spirit is giving you the strength to eventually see the big picture. And how are you going to know? Because your wishes are going to come true. Some of you are going to realize that your wishes are coming true by the first week of December of 2020. Remember, the answers are within you. And Spirit's trying to guide you into a new path where you become much stronger, where you connect with others and you step into a new world and eventually watch your wishes come true and then see the big picture. And remember, on the bottom of that deck, uh, the... Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn. We had miracles. And now we have the Nine of Cups at the end of November of 2020. So I'm going to close with an overall energy read for whichever Taurus I'm reading for. Oh, spirit itches my nose when I'm right on target. Overall message for this Taurus, please, representing the second half of November of 2020 so we had the four of emotions so mid-november this is kind of a collective energy it's been showing up in a lot of personal readings uh the four of emotions is that the truth that the truth that there are wonderful people out there who are wishing to help you at this time taurus opportunities are being offered to you but for some reason you're not noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to find clarity as long as you continue to act upon your plans. There will be success. Free your mind. It's time to step into the doorway of a new beautiful plan. And Spirit's trying to guide you there day to day in the second half of November. So thank you so much to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed, to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Uh, thank you to those of you who have attended the Wednesday live Zoom cast at noon and the Thursday live video podcast at noon as well, U.S. Central Time. Thank you to those of you who have come to me for month-to-month -month readings and then followed up with an email to let me know how exactly these messages played out in your journey that led you to a higher, better path and clarity. And look at this on the bottom of this deck. And I forgot that I had shuffled this. We have flowers and happiness. So I can't wait to hear your comments. Take care and God bless. Whoops. And God bless. And